telling them the truth. Republican Senator Mitt Romney says he studied law review articles that show holding an impeachment trial for a former president is constitutional. I think uh, it, it's pretty, uh, pretty clear that the effort is constitutional. A stance that puts Romney at odds with some of his colleagues. He also believes the allegation that Trump did incite the deadly U.S. Capitol riot on January 6th is an impeachable offense. I believe that, that what is being alleged and what we saw, which is incitement to insurrection, uh, is, uh, is an impeachable offense. If, if not, what is? Monday, the House is set to formally walk the article of impeachment to the Senate. I think the trial is stupid. Uh, I think it's counterproductive. We already have a flaming fire in this country, and it's like taking a bunch of gasoline and pouring it on top of the fire. Some Democrats hopeful that the trial will unite both sides of the aisle and allow legislative plans to move forward. I believe that this impeachment trial, I hope conviction, ultimate disqualification, are the very first powerful steps toward unity and our country moving forward. The chamber plans to begin the former president's trial next month, expecting it may move faster than Trump's first impeachment trial last year. I believe it will be a fair trial, but it will move relatively quickly. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said House Democrats plan to send their impeachment article over to the Senate on Monday and on Friday night. Schumer said that the Senate will begin their trial the week of February 8th. Both the House managers and the defense will have a period of time to draft their legal briefs, just as they did in previous trials. During that period, the Senate will continue to do other business for the American people. As we saw last year during Trump's previous impeachment proceedings, a trial consumes a lot of the Senate's time. Schumer and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell are still ironing out a lot of the details about how a 50-50 Senate will run, with Democrats holding the deciding vote with Vice President Kamala Harris. Republicans had said Friday they wouldn't consider President Joe Biden's cabinet nominees while a trial is ongoing. The White House was asked about the possibility of those cabinet delays and how the trial might impact Biden's push for his $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief proposal. Certainly there is the capacity and ability to have discussions, have hearings, um, take steps to move forward on the president's COVID relief package. Uh, and we don't think it can be delayed or it can wait. So uh, they're going to have to find a path forward. He's confident they can do that. The single article of impeachment charges Trump with incitement of insurrection after the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Federal prosecutors continue to charge dozens who allegedly participated in the Capitol riots. New evidence shows rioters attacked police officers with whatever they had, including flagpoles, a fire extinguisher, and fists, during the violent insurrection on January 6th. This is a real threat. This was not a one-off. This was not a one-time thing unless we aggressively work to make it so. It's still unclear when former President Trump, who was impeached for incitement of insurrection, will have to defend himself before the Senate. I don't believe he provoked if you listen to what he said at the rally. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell proposing to delay the upcoming impeachment trial until February giving Trump's legal team two weeks to prepare their case. Some Democrats open to the delay if Republicans work to confirm Biden's cabinet. We'd be more receptive to this delay if we are continuing to do the work of the Senate in confirming the senior members of the cabinet across all departments. The White House says it will lead the timing of the trial up to Senate leadership. Ensuring that it doesn't delay uh, uh, the Senate, Congress moving forward in uh, consideration uh, and discussion around uh, the COVID relief package that the president proposed last week. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting.